Yo, what is up, guys? I am Viva the Met Style here, bringing you an actual Pokemon X and Y battle video. Now it's been three to four years since I uploaded a battle video on this channel, and holy god, that's a long time ago. So for my first battle, I am facing off against my good friend John from Skype. So I lead off with the protein. Uh, frog thingy. I, I forget its name a lot. Um, I know its second form is Frogadier, but I, I also forget its third form. Anyway, I try and go for the nice beam of the protein. Protein obviously changes your ability to the type of attack that you were using, and I used an ice beam on him. It took him down quite a bit, that thick fat, keeping him alive probably on that Mega Venusaur. I switched out to Skarmory, um, he puts me to sleep. Annoying. Very, 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 very annoying. He switches out his, uh, whatchamacallit, Venusaur, and he brings out his Politoed, his Drizzle Politoed, my I add. Which, eh, brain team, you know, what are you gonna do with them? So, I'm trying to work off some turns of my rest. Hopefully, well, not rest, uh, sleep out. I'm just trying to wake up, okay? Trying my best to wake up, trying to work off some turns of that sleep. He used for the Ice Beam and it uh, doesn't do too much damage. I mean, it does a good bit. And I finally wake up and I use Roost. Now, this is a good move on his part. While I Roost, I lose my pot flying ability. And then he used the Stab Surf, Rain Boosted Surf, which, if it wasn't for Sturdy, would have killed me. And that was a really good play on his part. So I decided to switch out. I don't want to keep um, Razor anymore and go to my Amaralysis because Amaralysis can take a good hit and just watch that up, uh, up, uh, yeah. He took that surf like a pro. Now Amaralysis Amar is my special wall new Pokemon in this generation, Frogius or something. Pot Fairy, pretty, um, pretty bulky in the special defense area. I do enjoy using this Pokemon. So I calm mind up, he goes with the sleep powder, I'm like nope. I use Moonblast, I know it's not very effective against him, but I just wanted to try and lower his special attack to the best of my ability, plus stab, and I got a crit which lowered him a lot, which helped me a lot, but then he ends up putting me to sleep and that's pretty much it for Amaralysis right there. So I have a physical wall with 1 HP and I have Amaralysis with I don't know, very low HP that, no, with a good decent amount of HP, but asleep. <laughs> That's a problem. So I send out Razor, predicting Sludge Bomb, and of course he goes for the Sludge Bomb. The rain stops, which is a good thing, I guess. He won't get any more stab water attacks. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna switch back out now before he kills the uh, thing. And he's, I switch back into my Moralysis, and he hits with the Petal Blizzard. Which I didn't know at the time it was actually a physical attack, which why it took so much damage. I thought, you know, being stab and all, maybe that might have been it. But, you know what? So I just let Amaralysis die because otherwise I'm just going to be switching between. It was going to be one or the other. Oh, I just saw a big spider. Hello. Um, anyway. Yeah. I'm going into my Absol because Mega Absol is best Absol. Go love some Mega Absols. I'm going to kill a Spider real quick because I can't be bothered to deal with shit. Spider shit, I'm like crap. <laughs> Dead. Alright, back to the battle. Uh, yep, yeah, I pursued his um his uh, Venusaur with my Mega Absol. Mega Absol is a beast of having that Mega Bounce ability. Mega Bounce, Magic Bounce, I'm afraid I. Uh, he goes back into this uh, Polytoad, setting up that rain once again. Um, I go, I switch out and go into my Razor, using him as Death Daughter so I could get a free switch. There was no point in me keeping him alive, he would have been able to, he would have been dead in one turn. So, I decided to switch, uh, bring him out, try and get him to fall. And I, this bring, lets me have a free switch into my huge power adamant max attack, Azumarill. So, I use Body Slam, I mean, I... Um, this team isn't exactly properly trained yet. I'm still training it, like in levels. If you like, it's only level 50 because this was a friend fight. Um, yeah, I, I still need to level it up to the point where it gets play rough, which is a big move, which I really, really need to get on this thing. 
but it does a good job regardless without player rough. So I used Body Slam, I was hoping I could get uh, a Paralysis on him, but I couldn't, and I take him down to Red Life. I was going to go for the Aqua Jet, as you see, but he switches into his Calamari. I don't actually know, I think it's Malmor is the name of that thing, real name, but that's a Dark Water thing, I think, and he goes for the Foul Play. Now, we were discussing this on call, and he just wanted to see if it took into part the huge power part when it did the damage, but it didn't, it just goes off my base, uh, attack and I managed to kill it off of the uh, body slam then that next on that very turn so the poison's starting to get to my Azumarill a good bit now he sends out his spark plug his uh Helioisk and he I decided to go to the for the aqua jet just trying to get as much damage off on that thing as I possibly could I probably could have played this better and gone into my Aegislash and tried to tank some of the damage and keep Azumarill alive but I, I don't know why I didn't do that, but anyway, he uses the Volt Switch and he brings out his Polytoad. Now, the only good thing about that whole play was I was get I was able to bring in my Pokemon. And I go for the Pursuit just in case he tried to switch. I mean, he probably would have in case he tried to predict a Sucker Punch. And I hit him and that's an easy takeout. Now, he brings out his uh, Kabutops. Now, this is where I really mess up. I go for the taunt expecting the Swords Dance, knowing that thing has a Swords Dance, knowing that he couldn't use anything else because of my magic bounce. And he just goes straight for the Stab Waterfall and Stab Waterfall boosted by the rain once again and well Absol can't take a hit so he just instantly drops. Now the rain stops which could have come in handy, maybe I might have lived, but I didn't. Anyway, I got two Pokemon left, he's got three Pokemon left and he goes into his Gudra. Gudra, kind of an annoying Pokemon. I go straight for the sword slash thingy. Uh, what's it called? Ah, Sacred Sword, Secret Sword, whatever you want to call it. And I do quite a big chunk of damage to him, actually. I mean, eh. Could be, could be a hell of a lot worse, I guess. Um, So I go back in King Shield, get some defense going, because I know he's going to try and take me out. Uh, I use, yeah, King Shield. Protecting myself because you know earthquakes and whatnot. Protected the earthquake. Good. Now I get a chance to set up a little bit on this guy. So what I didn't actually know is that he is carrying flamethrower. Now if he had burnt me, this would have gone terribly wrong. But he doesn't, and I get off a swords dance, which is fortunate enough for me. I swords dance get plus two in attack, and I'm pretty much free to sweep at this point. So, he goes for another flamethrower, again, I think he's trying to go for the burn or just trying to kill me off either way. If he had burnt me, then pff, who knows. And I go for the secret sword and I take him out, obviously. Gudras are annoying. <laughs> um, yep, he sends in his thing jig. Now, this is again where I mess up. I should have gone for the king shield, but... I thought maybe he might try to swords dancing again and he doesn't sword dance and he takes out my shield and this is pretty much the biggest problem I had he sends in I send in my crazy frog he hits me with the aqua jet it doesn't kill me but it drops me to 14 HP this is my last Pokemon I hit him with this four times super effective now stab grass type attack with grass knot and take him out but unfortunately, Life Orb gets the better of my crazy frog and drops, and that is game. I hope you enjoyed watching. Tune in for another for another battle soon. Goodbye.